Also from these ahadith, we get a description of the time that he shall come. We already mentioned some ahadith which mentioned that the earth will be filled with injustice. The famous hadith of Abu Dawud which we quoted before, that his name shall match my name and his father's name shall match my father's name. And he shall fill the earth with justice and truth just as it had been filled with zulm, with injustice and jawr, transgression. Likewise, in another hadith reported in the Muslim Imam Ahmad, Abu Sa'id al-Khudri narrated that the Prophet wasallam said, the day of judgment shall not occur until the earth is filled with injustice and transgression. Look at what he's saying, the earth. So the entire earth will be filled with evil. And then a man will come from my household who shall fill it with justice and righteousness, just as it had been filled with evil and injustice and transgression. And this is another authentic hadith describing the fact that the Mahdi will appear at a time of great injustice, so much so that the Prophet ﷺ said that the entire world will be filled with transgression and injustice and evil, and that the Mahdi shall come and he shall correct it in his reign. This also implies that the Mahdi shall battle against the transgressors and correct the evil that is being perpetrated around the world. And evil does not appear instantaneously. No, evil spreads slowly but surely. So we can get a feeling from this hadith that the times will get worse and worse and worse and more bloodshed and more evil and more injustice and oppression will appear bit by bit until finally the entire earth will be subjugated to tyranny and oppression and then the Mahdi will come and he shall fill it with truth and justice as it had been filled with tyranny and injustice before his time. There is a very beautiful hadith as well that gives us some more descriptions of the coming of the Mahdi and it has a very slight weakness in it. One of its narrators, Al-Ala, is unknown and so we will quote it and yet realize that some of the phrases have not been ascertained in other narrations of the Mahdi but overall the gist of it seems to be authentic and that is that Abu Sa'id al-Khudri narrated that the Prophet wasallam said, I give you glad tidings of the Mahdi. So the Prophet wasallam is telling us, be happy, rejoice, the Mahdi is coming. He shall be sent to my ummah at a time when the people are differing. There's a lot of internal strife amongst the Muslims. And at a time of many earthquakes, he shall fill the earth with justice, with righteousness, just as it had been filled with evil and injustice. The inhabitants of the skies will be pleased with him and so too will the inhabitants on the earth. He shall distribute money properly and the hearts of the Muslims shall be filled with richness. They shall be pleased at his justice, so much so that a person will cry out, who has any need for money? And not a single person will stand to get that money, except for one. One person will stand up and he will be told, go to the collector of the money and tell him that the Mahdi is commanding you to give you money. So this man will go to the collector who has collected the zakah, who has collected all this money, and he will tell the collector to give him money. The collector will say, take as much as you can. So he will take it and he will put it in his house. Then he will regret this and he will say, I used to be the most generous of the ummah of Muhammad wasallam. Am I not content with what they are content with? In other words, nobody else asks, why should I ask? So he will go back to the collector and he will say, take it back, I really don't want it. The collector will tell him, once we have given something, we will not take it back. Look at the description given of this time. The Prophet ﷺ said, he shall rule for seven or eight or nine years. This is what he said, seven or eight or nine. And then after this, there is no good to life after he leaves. This, as we said, is a very beautiful hadith. There is a very slight weakness in it. Al-Ala, one of the narrators, is unknown. However, many other phrases of it have been confirmed in other hadith. Also, the Mahdi will be a precursor to the coming of the Dajjal and Isa ibn Maryam, as we shall discuss shortly. Therefore, his victories will, if you like, pave the way for the coming of Isa. And when Isa comes, that is when the final great battle of earth the Christians call this battle the Armageddon. The final great battle of earth shall take place and it shall be between the followers of Isa ibn Maryam on one side, meaning the Muslims, and the followers of Dajjal, the Antichrist, on the other.